Number one is Admiral's Express, owned by Ed Safey of Rockford, the driver, Charles Taylor. Two is Best Foot Forward, owned by Walter Bird of South Lyon, the driver, Brad Kramer. Three is B.A. Hustling, owned by Kathleen Conan and Doreen Reynolds of Croswell, the driver, Daryl Wright. Four is Rick's Royal Match, owned by Jeff Howells and Gus Demopoulos of Oxford, the driver, Don Harmon. Five is Turbo's Hitman, owned by Dwayne Chippy and Richard Sykes of Cass City, the driver, Carl Putnam, Jr., Six is Julie's Legacy, owned by Thurman Baker of Imlay City, the driver Alan Sisko. Seven is Lock Load Fire, owned by Ed Safey of Rockford, the driver Butch Doki. And eight is JC, owned by Dave Tanner and Jim Jackson of Weberville, the Thanks, driver Sal. Kelly Goodman. Now look for the shadow rolls on the two-year-olds moving in behind the starting gate as we send it up to track announcer Jack Calvert. They're up and pacing first away in the middle of the racetrack. B.A. Hustling, her turbos hit man and up the rail. Admiral Express, Ray Wide as he race around the first turn. B.A. Hustling now takes over. Turbos hit man drives right up on the outside. Admiral's Express on the inside, third and best foot forward. Down the back stretch, Turbo's Hitman, he paces right on. Opens up a length and a quarter as he races over to that first quarter mile post. On the inside, B.A. Hustling is right there, second. Admiral's Express now moves in third. Moving up on the inside, fourth. His best foot forward, followed by Julie's Legacy as he races around that upper turn to head into the lane for the first time. The pace is picking up pretty well. Coming down here to the half-mile mark, Carl Putman, Jr. with Turbo's Hitman in control. Moving up on the outside, best foot forward is on the move. Also, Julie's legacy, B.A. Hustle up the rail. Into that turn and into the back stretch for the second final time. Turbo's legacy, er, Turbo's hit man by a length and a quarter. B.A. Hustling is right there, second. Best foot forward on the outside, third. Admiral Express is now fourth. As they race down the back stretch, B.A. Hustling is off stride. And it's best foot forward taking over second. Julie's legacy is now third, and here comes J.C. from far back. J.C. now third. J.C. now second, and coming after the leader, Turbo's Hitman. J.C. drives right up, takes over by three quarters. Now takes over by a length and a half around that turn. It's J.C. with a lead, Turbo's Hitman second. Julie's legacy on the outside third, best foot forward on the inside, now fourth. As they race into that race, race for the wire, it's J.C. pacing right on. Past the stands now as they come for the wire. Past the stands, it's going to be J.C. Here they all come. Following a stellar performance in Midland last week, J.C. shows he is for real as he comes from behind to charge up three wide around the final turn to win in a new track record for two-year-old pacing Colts in two minutes flat. The son of Armbro Cadet now has seven wins in nine starts and earnings over $30,000 for owner breeders Jim Jackson and Dave Tanner. He's everything you said he was. You were going to race him from behind. That's what you told us before the race. How did he feel to like to you? Really good. He, he surprised me a little bit. I was back at the quarter pole and... Uh, yeah, I'd like to take the credit, but you can't. The horse is uh, the athlete. So who's going to get the credit? The horse is going to get all the credit here? <laughs> I might take a little bit. <laughs> the yeah, trainer, too. The trainer of the right. You said you are going to race, and I know they really like Turbo's Hitman today. He went to the front. He had no excuses today. This horse here, he did it all the way you wanted him to. Yep, he worked hard. This horse had to race every bit the way you wanted him. You laid it out as if it was a Hollywood script. Well, today he raced just like his mom. That's the way she raced. She just wait and wait and wait and then come flying on the end. Well, we're now going to see... We are going to see you in October at Hazel Park for the two-year-old Colt Final. Congratulations.